Today we're taking a look at the Mavic 3 EXP settings. Uh, these settings are not accessible in regards to the Android app. They are accessible, however, in the iPhone app. So if you have Android OS on your phone and you need to change the sensitivity of your sticks on the default cheap $169 controller, then you need to borrow somebody's iPhone, install the app, sign into your DJ account, and make some changes of the settings. So here I'm in the Android DJI Fly app version 1.51 on my cellular phone. If I select control and then scroll down, I will see an RC calibration section, but there is no advanced section for me to change the EXP settings. Now here we have the Apple DJI Fly app open. I'm going to select about and illustrate that this is also on version 1.51. Uh, which is the version as of December of 2021 when I'm creating this video. If I scroll down in the control section, I have RC calibration and I do have an advanced section. So if I go ahead and select advanced, here you can see the EXP settings, which you're able to adjust for the three different profiles, Cine, Normal, and Sport. So Apple users can go ahead on their iPad and iPhone and make adjustments to these settings. It does require you to have the drone powered up with a RC controller linked to the drone. So go ahead and make those changes. Android users, you need to find somebody with an Apple iPhone or iPad, install the DJI Fly app, power up your drone, and then make changes to the settings. Changing the EXP settings will allow you to adjust the sensitivity of the remote control sticks to your input. For example, if you set them to 0.1 and gently move the stick, the drone movement will be less. If you set them to 0.89 and gently move the stick, the drone movement will be more. All right, so here we are in the iPhone app. I'm going to hit the three buttons in the upper right. And under control, if you scroll down to Advanced. This is a section that is not available in the DJI Android app, but it is in the Apple apps. I'm going to scroll down. We can see 0 0.25, 0 0.2, 0 0.21. So I'm just going to illustrate one of these settings. There is no right or wrong here. It's about what you want, how you fly the drone, how you want it to perform. It's up to you to set it the way that you want. Uh, but we'll just illustrate here. If I take the forward right, backward left, down to 0.1, now I'm just going to gently press left on the stick. And you can see I can really just fine tune that. So I'm just barely pressing to the left. I have really ability to control and do a slow panning shot. So my little bit of input causes the drone to move just a little bit. Now for extreme, let's take it to 0.89. So now at 0.89, I'm going to go ahead and hit the same stick, just barely the same exact way. So it's more responsive. So this isn't like pressing it far right, far left kind of a setting. It's like what happens when you just barely touch the sticks? How, how much input by your finger results in movement in the drone? So you can see here, if I was trying to do a steady, slow panning shot, I really can't do it with my stick input because the drone is just too moving too wildly. Now let me elevate that up here so you can see it from, this, from my point of view here. Alright, so if I move the stick just to the left, it almost immediately goes to the right. Try to just gradually do it to the right, it, so it's very jerky. So now again if we move it back down 2.10 and barely move it to the right, I can barely move it to the left and just hold that position on the control. A little bit of wind here fighting me. But I can get it to do this very slow pan shot to the left or to the right. And this would not be possible for me to control if I were controlling this drone right now on an Android app because these settings as of December of 2021 are not on the Android app yet. So now let's go ahead and check out what happens when we set these all to 0.1, let's say. 
I set them all to point one. Let's come in and land the drone. So what we're going to do now is connect the drone up to the Android app and see if these settings are retained when we switch from the iPhone app over to the Android app. All right, now we're in the Android app. So we've just switched from the iPhone app to the Android app. Take off. Take off. has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right, we're still in normal mode. And now our goal here is to check the sticks and elevate there so we can see it beyond the horizon from this camera right here. All right, so here's the moment of truth. Do these settings get retained in the drone or are they specific to when the app connects up to the drone? So here I am going to go to the right, pressing just a little bit of input. And to the left. And it does look like I have the same ability to control this. I can just gradually move it to the right. It almost seems like a little bit twitchier, but my fingers are a little bit colder than before. So it definitely appears to me that these settings are retained when you're moving the drone from that iPhone app back to the Android app. A couple of things to keep in mind when adjusting the EXP settings. When you're on the EXP settings screen, move the button on the remote control to switch between Cine, Normal, and Sport modes, because you can control the settings in each mode individually. Also keep in mind there are no correct or best settings. What settings are best are up to each pilot to decide based on their ability to control the sticks and how they want the drone to fly. Some pilots may be physically able to maintain a gentle movement of the sticks even at higher EXP values compared to others. You need to determine what settings are best for you by experimenting with the settings. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and please comment on what settings you prefer when controlling the DJI Mavic 3 with your standard RC-N1 controller or your RC Pro controller in the various operation modes of the drone. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.